question was asked that, if uniform rod having length L, and, mass M is hinged at the top and then the natural frequency of vibration is, given by the formula, time period T is equal to 2 pi divided by under root 3 G by 2 L, Professor Walter asked that at what distance from the top of the rod, the rod should hinge such that its natural frequency of oscillation is same as the rod is hinged at the top of the rod. Now, we will derive the equation of motion of that configuration. Let us assume one rod. Here is an axis of the rod. Center of gravity of the rod will be here at the center point A. Length of the rod L. X distance from the top of the rod to the hinged point A. For the lower portion the length will be L minus X. Take mass of the rod as M. Now for upper portion of the rod from the hinge point the mass will be m2 and which is equal to m into x divided by l. Similarly, for the lower portion from the hinge point the mass is given by m1 which is equal to m into l minus x divided by l. For the lower portion the center of gravity will be at this point. And for upper portion the center of gravity will be at this point. In lower portion the m1 g force will be acting from this point. And for the upper portion the m2 g force will be acting from this point. Take initial angular position of the rod as the theta with the vertical line. So, the horizontal distance from the center of gravity of lower portion to hinged point A will be L minus X whole divided by 2 into sine theta. And the horizontal distance from the center of gravity of upper portion to hinged point A will be X divided by 2 into sine theta. The sum of external torque acted on the rod will be given by this equation. And, by simplifying this equation the net external torque will be. Now inertial torque is given by moment of inertia of the rod about at hinged point that means IA. And, the angular acceleration, for moment of inertia of the rod about the hinge point A. Now moment of inertia about the center of gravity of the rod is given by M into L square divided by 12. Now by using parallel axis theorem, the moment of inertia of rod about the hinged point A is given by IO plus mass into D square, where D is equal to L divided by 2 minus X. Substituting all the values finally the moment of inertia of the rod about point A is given by this equation. Now from the Newton's law of physics the inertial torque of the object is equal to the sum of the all torque acting on the object. Now take small angle of approximation. So sine theta will become theta. And put alpha equal to theta double dot. So, we get the following equation. Rearranging the equation. So, finally we get following equation. So, the natural frequency will be and the time period of oscillation will be like this. Now compare the equation of the time period of oscillation of the rod when it is hinged at the top point. 2. The time period of oscillation of rod when it is hinged at the distance x from the top point. So, finally by comparing both we get x equal to L divided by 3.